Are you interested in introducing your students to some of the risks faced by entrepreneurs? Or perhaps you're looking for a way to underscore the importance of vision and a strong personal network in supporting their own entrepreneurial ventures. If so, then this is your day to be inspired. Over the next few minutes, we're going to walk through Inspire Lesson 8, Eddie Brown, Starting from Scratch. Through this lesson, your students will discuss how a sense of vision can help in creating plans and reaching goals, evaluate the importance of personal networks when starting a business, and identify key risks that are common causes of business failure. I'm James Wilcox, and this is Inspire, an entrepreneurship education series powered by Economics Arkansas. Born to a 13-year-old unwed girl, Eddie Brown was raised by his grandparents and grew up among the citrus orchards of Central Florida. From an early age, he could envision a future far away from the poverty and moonshine bootleggers that helped form his early years. When an aptitude test indicated that he would make a good engineer, he chose to pursue a degree in electrical engineering and began a career with IBM. But there were bigger things in store for his analytical mind, and many people would reap the financial reward. Using Eddie's story as a backdrop, this lesson focuses on a few key concepts, namely risk and the importance of vision and networks. Every Inspire lesson offers a modular approach to the content, allowing you to scaffold and take a deeper dive into the key concepts as time and interest allow. For lesson eight, the time required ranges from 10 minutes for the bell ringer to 35 minutes for the full lesson and extension activity. All necessary materials are provided, including visuals, activities, student handouts, links to online resources, and a detailed list of instructions. Before class begins, print individual copies of handout one, video questions, handout two, who's who, and handout three, risky business. Print and cut out individual business ideas from Activity 1, Business Ideas, so that each student has their own scenario. To set the stage for the lesson, show the short four-minute video, Eddie Brown, starting from scratch, found at thisiscapitalism.com. Once the video ends, ask or assign students to work together in teams of three to four. Distribute a copy of handout one, video questions, to each student and allow them five minutes to individually complete the questions. The purpose of this activity is to learn from Eddie's example and to apply a similar approach to envisioning personal goals and developing plans to reach them. The activity's introductory question provides a great opportunity to debrief your students. Where do you envision yourself being in 10 years? As time allows, ask students to share their far-sighted goals and near-sighted plans. Emphasize that our goals without a vision and a plan to reach those goals are just wishful thoughts. If you're just doing the bell ringer, you're done. But let's see how the mini lesson and extension activity continue to add value through a deeper dive. Using Visual One definitions, review each definition. Explain that we will be exploring the important roles that vision and personal networks can play in reducing some of the more common risks of starting a business. Distribute a copy of Handout 2, Who's Who, to each student for reference. Ask teams to read carefully through the list of statements in the table and allow 10 minutes for them to work together to complete one copy of the handout before proceeding. Within a few months of leaving the security of his management job at T. Rowe Price, Eddie Brown was given the devastating news that his wife had been diagnosed with cancer. He had prepared himself for many of the uncertainties faced when starting a new business, but he hadn't planned for this. And suddenly, he was unsure that he had made the right choice. In Eddie's moment of need, when it seemed that his world had been turned upside down, his network stood by him 
and ultimately helped his new business find customers and success. The personal networks that you are building today could help you reach your dreams far into the future. Look around the room and take note of your classmates. Considering only the people here today, identify a person who most closely fits each of the following statements. Once students have completed the table, distribute the business ideas scenario cards from activity one, business ideas scenarios, and direct the teams to use their scenarios to complete question two on handout to who's who. Emphasize that they are identifying their network. This is their ideal group of supporters and encouragers, not necessarily their employees. These identified individuals may also provide referrals, expertise, or emotional support. As time allows, ask teams to present their handout to results to the class. Finally, Lesson 8 concludes with an optional extension activity on handout 3, Risky Business. This can be completed in class or as a homework assignment. When Eddie Brown began noticing that other minority-owned investment firms were closing their doors, he took a bold new approach. In order to reduce this risk for his business and for his customers, Eddie created a plan to turn the ownership over to his employees in the form of stock shares. His customers had entrusted billions of their dollars into his hands. He knew he had an obligation to make sure that with or without him, the business itself would not fail. Through this activity, students are asked to identify the type of business that they would choose to launch if it was guaranteed to be a success. They'll be introduced to a few of the most common causes of business failure and will be asked to identify ways they could try to reduce that risk for their own business. Please let us know how this lesson has helped your students consider the importance of building strong networks or evaluate the risks of launching their own ventures. Thank you so much for watching Inspire, powered by Economics Arkansas. And thank you to Stevens Inc. and their generous support for making this resource possible. For more Inspire lessons, or to discover other classroom tools and professional development opportunities, visit economicsarkansas.org.